This week was a modified IBM Think, which I think both you and I walked away from saying this was great. It was a much smaller audience. It was biggest customers, biggest analysts, uh, biggest investors, and it was tons and tons of access to the company's key executives to really get our arms around the company's focal points. When you see our interview with Arvind, you'll really hear about how hybrid cloud and AI are really driving everything in that company. Um, it's a trimmed down organization, post Kindrel spinoff, it's growing faster, its messaging is getting clearer, and the, the technology it's building is more ripe for the next wave of the economy as I see it. So there's a lot of positives there. Let's just talk about one of the biggest announcements. There were several, but one of the biggest announcements, Pat, that caught our attention, and we actually had the chance to do a 6.5 on the, uh, was it on the road, on the show floor, in the booth? Wh which one is that? Was it, it was kind of a hybrid of all of them because it was, it uh, really was. in their studio. Um, and you'll see it with Tom Rose Amelia, who leads the software business for all of IBM. But essentially, the company made this huge announcement to uh, to partner with AWS. So you're thinking, well, IBM has a cloud and Amazon has a cloud. What would it, why, why would they be partnering? Well, of course, as many people know, IBM's been super focused on hybrid cloud, on the enterprise, on being able to deliver to this next wave of IT modernization and we also know that AWS is the largest IS by revenue in, in the world right now, uh, growing extraordinarily fast, well over $16 billion a quarter, and has a lot of customers and enterprise users that want to run software cloud native in AWS. So what does IBM do? IBM says, you know, we know we have our own cloud. We know we can run things on our cloud. You can use Red Hat, you can use satellites, and you can do these things to do multi-cloud. But why don't we take our portfolio of software, whether that's API Connect, DB2, observability on Instana, whether that's uh, Maximo app application suite, their security verify, or Watson Orchestrate and automation. And let's have all those apps running cloud native in uh, AWS. And so that was what was announced. AWS takes its partnerships very seriously. IBM takes its partnerships very seriously. They're gonna be dedicating uh, you know, resources, engineering capabilities, and it's all gonna be available on the IBM, or sorry, on the AWS, marketplace. Pat, I see this as a big deal. I see this as a, an important move to get IBM democratized, its software more democratized. This company has a lot of software. Most people don't know it because it's a lot of middleware, a lot of applications that are being run in enterprises. It's not necessarily the everyday names that you think of maybe in a CRM space or in a data space, but these are core applications that are part of a business's ecosystem. I like the idea. I like the partnership. I like the fact that, you know, again, this is an enhancement on the old bring your own license approach that the company did to make things run cloud native, which as long as the QA is good and the, the ability to run it smoothly and seamlessly, um, this will be a great build on what they were already doing with OpenShift and ROSA um, to being able to run your uh, IBM software in the AWS cloud. Yeah, this is, uh, this is classic uh, Arvind, right? This is... Uh, the next generation of IBM, right? This is IBM next, right? Uh, I can clearly say that this this was under the leadership of uh, Arvind, uh, Roger Premo, and Tom Rose Amelia. This is sassifying uh, IBM's key applications here, which I think is a great thing. And what I like about this is it does, it does take a little bit of courage, which says, hey, instead of running this uh, on-prem or in the IBM cloud, you're gonna run it in AWS. Because quite frankly, it's going to require customers to upload their data to to AWS. Which you know, once you get your data somewhere, it seems like you're going to kick the tires uh, with a lot of, of the software that's up in the the AWS um, uh, marketplace. But listen, uh, I know Tom Rosemilia pretty well. Uh, worked many years uh, with him. You know, kind of advising the the mainframe team. He's a smart guy, and he's very uh, client client centric. Uh, so I think he knows that he's got to keep uh, churning the innovation uh, of, of of that software. So there's not some simple drop in uh, replacement that that AWS is uh, is notorious for uh, doing uh, with its partners. Uh, to me, this is also an expression of AWS desire to keep growing. I don't know what uh, market forecast they had, but. You know, uh, last week it was Dell Technologies uh, with uh, some ransomware software and backup software and and stuff like uh, like that. Um, they must see partnering with uh, the you know what I've heard them call the old guard 
uh, as a requirement for for their growth. So all in all, a really good deal. And the last thing I'll say is I, I don't think this is an AWS exclusive. I think over the next uh, six months to a year, we'll likely see announcements with uh, Azure and GCP. AWS probably has some short-term uh, exclusivity, but uh, we will be covering this on the pod as it moves forward.